Hello, this is Evangelist Kimmy Humphreys. Hello, Edward. Hello, Gary. And anyone else that may be watching, um, I am so sorry, and they have gotten on to me, but please, we have gone through drastic changes in weather as we know that the Lord has told us that this would occur. We have gone here in Texas from 12 degrees where people were actually freezing to death. Then we've got this flu outbreak that is costing precious lives. Lord have mercy and thank you for protecting us. To today when we actually had threat of tornadoes. So I'm a little bit behind on everything. Oh and let me tell you if you have any friends that have lost a loved one due to cancer or other illness uh, they're grieving you know we're not experts but we want to support our brothers and sisters in Christ no matter what they're going through we have created a community page a group page also a live chat to support our brothers and sisters as the Lord tells us let's have a song this well you can't see the video I'll put a link it's a little ministry video that we made for our ministry we're also church online 2018 and celebrate the sabbath we're an online ministry of volunteers we don't take donations now let me make this clear what people are asking me if we have a brother or sister with an urgent need we will bring them before the church as the first church did we will tell about their needs and then they pray about it if they choose to help that brother and sister in the name of Jesus then they will that's how we do things I do help the homeless if someone wants to help me they do but I never ask for donations I depend upon the Lord I truly believe that if the Lord has called us just like every single one of our prayer warrior volunteers bless them they came God sent them you know, no one had to ask them they came they were called and that's how I believe that the Lord is working in these last days um, anyway I would like to play this little video and listen to the music we are one in the spirit and one in the Lord praise God obeying his command to love one another we are one in the Lord we are one in the spirit we are one and we pray that our humanity will be one way to restore And we know we are Christian by our love, by our love Yes, we know we are Christian by our love We will walk with each other Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, that He has given us each other. We're not alone in this walk, and especially those that are suffering. I would ask you to please lift a brother up in prayer. His name is Tim. God bless this brother. 
He has been diagnosed with colon cancer and we wanted to know he's not alone. Also, Gary has some family members. Well, I don't want to mention anyone without his permission that are struggling with cancer and we would ask that you would pray for them. If you have any friends that need uh, that need that need um, support, we're here for them. All right. What's wrong, Max? Sorry, that's my dog. I have three little dogs. All right. And I'm sorry. So sorry, guys. I know I've let you down. I'm going to have to do another one later on the Bible study. I just want to get on here because I gave everyone my word. Gary, God bless you. Um, and we do need to come together. Gary, I know that you're the one that does all the computer stuff. You need to figure out how we can go live and interact and talk. I believe that Brother Gary is going to do a program with worship music, which is always good. Yeah, worship music. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Um, and he's trying to figure out how to do that. Edward, you can do that too if you'd like to, hon. But, <laughs> oh, by the way, <coughs> um, what I was, Edward didn't understand. I don't believe Gary understood either. I had posted a video. It wasn't really actually aimed at you. It was just a study that I do. Once in a while when I'm studying, I find something quite interesting that I have found out. I will share it. Um, it was on the names of Jesus. And really quick, let me explain to you why. There was a gentleman, I will not use his name, that actually texted me and called me all kind of nasty names, which, God bless you, brother, I forgive you. But he was telling me that anyone that calls Jesus a different name was going to hell, which is absolutely not true. I told him if you want to call him Jesus, you know, every, there are people that don't speak English and our Bible was actually translated. The Old Testament was uh, Hebrew, the New Testament was actually Greek. There was no J. So anyway, he was condemning new Christians, confusing them. And I tried to kindly show this brother, you know, that our Bible, which yes, we call him Jesus. Um, his actual name <coughs> for the original <coughs> excuse me I'm still fighting off this bug and my son's actually still sick but praise God he can breathe now hallelujah glory to God um, is people call him uh, Yeshua my son's name is Joshua and in, in the language is it was close I thought if I gave him a biblical name that God would be close with him but uh, Yeshua actually is short for Yahushua, which means God is our salvation. That was his original name in the original language. Jesus was an Israeli. He was a Hebrew. He was raised as a Hebrew. He had Hebrew parents. His name was, just in case you want to know, Yahushua. And Yahshua was short. That's all I was saying. It's, it's quite interesting. We'll get into that later. But it's not that important. Okay, let's talk about something now. I know I need to go back. Um, Gary, find out from Edward where we left off. I'm truly just, my computer is barely working. I praise God. Hallelujah. Give me a clap. Thank you, Lord, that you've got my internet back up. Every single time, praise God, that we have a storm. Whether it's ice or whether it's uh, rain or it's gone, and I'm sitting here, no phone, nothing. So, um, let me know where we left off in the Bible studies, okay? Um, okay. What I want to talk about real quick because I'm not prepared or anything, which I'm going to do. I give you my word, I'm going to do it. It's just the storms have been coming one right after the other, and the weatherman said, "Praise God, the tornadoes did not hit us, and they have gone around us." Praise God. Thank you, Abba Daddy, in the name of Jesus. But one thing I want to talk to you about, and that's why our um, song is One in the Spirit, One in the Lord. They'll know us by our love. But I have been called a racist. You know, it doesn't bother me. People say things. They attack you. If you're doing God's work, they're going to attack you. I was misunderstood, and I want to make this totally clear. Our government shut down. 
Because the Democrats, and this is what they were actually asking, do your research, don't listen to fake news. They wanted us, they wanted the president to agree to let illegal aliens without checking them, without them having to do anything, come in. I don't know if you're um, familiar with it, but they get free housing, they're getting free schooling, they're getting free food. There are young girls as young as 13 that are having children, which is horrible. They're babies themselves, and they are paying for them to have housing, uh, babysitting, classes, go to school, and the, and they have we have teachers that can't even help American citizens. It is not about race at all. It is about breaking the law. If you're a Christian, you don't break the law. I have family members myself that went through the process to become legal citizens and they spent a lot of time and they are upset. I have been yelled at, screamed at, almost run off the road by illegal aliens. If they want to be here, and that's what people don't understand, you want to be here. You want to love our country. You want to respect America. You want to be part, learn English, wonderful, do it the legal way. We love you. I love all races. I just want to get that clear. It was about the illegal issue, about people breaking the law, because in no way does the Lord God, Jehovah, overlook someone that's breaking the law. We are told in Scripture that we must obey the laws of the land unless they conflict with the laws of God. Okay? So... I love my brothers and sisters. I love my Hispanic brothers and sisters. I am tired of being called a bigot. I am Native American. How can I be a bigot? I love all people. But I also expect them to uphold the law. Anyway, I, I'm not very prepared. Praise God. I wish we could talk. I want to talk with you. I want us to interact. I don't want to be the only one up here. Matter of fact, I'm looking for a platform somewhere where we could actually have like a split screen. Gary, you could be on one, and maybe Edward could be on one. Joe, if he wanted to be on one. You know, get the ministry partners on here all at the same time so we could interact with the viewers. I don't like being the only one on the screen. And I, forgive me, I am just a little bit disorganized. I've got, and I cannot find my real glasses. These glasses are actually not good. This is the Bible that I was telling Gary about. Uh, this is a King James. I want to show you. You see how large these letters are, hun? Well, I know if you're listening on the radio, probably you can't see it, but they are extremely huge. Extremely huge because I'm almost blind. But this is the one, Gary and Edward, I was talking about. This is the Hebrew Scriptures. Okay, it is our Bible, but it was, there are some rabbis in Israel that have gone back and gone word for word and have checked and rechecked because they wanted to make sure that we had a translation, you know. And God love it. I love the King James Version. Men died to give us this in our language. Praise God for them. God bless them. Hallelujah. But this is a, a little bit more accurate and it's good for study. Okay. But this is, yes, Gary, this is the original King James Version Bible. But um, what I was, what I want, I heard another preacher, he was talking, he inspired me. Um, okay, it's about love for one another. Yes, we are to love one another. We are commanded to love one another. We are told to esteem others higher than ourselves. That means put others above yourself, care for others more than yourself. We are here to serve, you know, like Jesus did. Jesus washed the disciples' feet. He was Lord of Lords, King of Kings, Son of God, created everything. He lowered himself to become a servant. And that's how we are to be. That's why I don't take donations. That's why Gary doesn't take donations. That's why Joe doesn't take donations. We, we just don't because we believe that we are servants of Jesus Christ. Now, if there's a brother in need, I've been in need, but if there's a brother in need or, or a, a, one of our brothers and sisters, always first, that's what I'm telling you, first, the body of Christ comes first, our brothers and sisters in the Lord come first. Do we love the sinners? Do we love the lost? Absolutely. 
just a second. Got to go back. I need to con excuse me for a minute. I need to continue because we ran out of time on the radio program. Praise God. Okay. All right. I'm sorry for a radio audience. I lost you for a while there. Here we go. Part two. All right. What I want to talk about really quickly, and then I'm going to get back. And don't forget, Edward, Gary, one of you, send me something showing where we left off in the the special ministry, the special classes, because actually it's been weeks, I know, and I and so much has gone on, and my son has been sick, and I've tried to look, but I'm actually, Max, please, honey, my dog always likes to talk, he loves you, see, he likes you, he wants to talk to you, he's praying for you, and um, tell me where we left off, because I want to do the Bible class tonight, if possible, let me know, because I'm telling you, I don't remember, I've gone through the tapes, and it's just, with the way my internet's going, they go off before I can find it. Okay, now, like I said, we are to love one another. We are to love sinners. Yes, sir, we are. We were lost once ourselves. Um, we are to love the homosexual. We are lo to love those on the street. But are we to prefer them? No, that's where people are wrong. There is a different standard in the Word of God. Okay, we are to love them, but we don't go and we don't dine with them. We don't hang around with them, do what they do. They drink, they curse, they watch filth. They're in the world. They're in love with the world. We try to pull them out of the world. We love them. But I'm going to tell you now that when it comes down to it, we are to prefer brothers and sisters in Christ first. Because we're family. And we love each other. We need to get along. And that post on my page, woo! You know, hey, I love you if you disagree with me or what, but do it respectfully. You know, I don't go on other people's pages and just start rattling off. Um, and there is a thing called a messenger, which I know they're probably saying, I can't get in touch with you. Yes, praise God. Our little ministry is reaching over 9,000 people. That's just in the, the two pages. Then we have the uh, look us up. We're, we're on Google. We're on uh, Twitter. We're, we're trying to. We have four sites of our own. And we also have two community. Uh, four community pages actually. But if you're hurting. If you know someone that has an illness. If you're like Precious Gary. Cerebral palsy. I believe Edward has cerebral palsy. You know we're here to help each other. You are important. You know, we are trying to make a group for everybody. Gary is trying to help me. He's a counselor. He's pretty much a Christian counselor because he's there for the people. He listens to them. He encourages them. He tells them the Word of God. He tells them they're not alone. I'm so proud of you, Brother Gary. Um, okay, but anyway, yes, we are to love sinners, absolutely, but we are not supposed to prefer them above our brothers. We are to prefer each other. Having purified your souls by your obedience to the truth from a sincere brotherly love, love one another earnestly from a pure heart. That's in the book of 1 Peter 1.22. Okay? Now, I mean, there are so many here. Hebrews chapter 3 verse 13. But exhort one another. Every day, as long as it is called today, that none of you may be hardened by the deceitfulness of sin. See, we're to encourage each other. If we see each other falling, I've seen some brothers there, God bless them, they're falling. They're, they're looking at those women a little too long. There is nothing wrong with a man looking at the beauty around him in the world and if they see a beautiful woman oh God's handiwork is lovely but you don't respect your wife you don't keep looking because keep looking into sin and to lust and you don't want lust in your heart but <clears throat> yes first when it comes to it we are to help first brothers and sisters in Christ we're family you, you love your family first you you also help your um 
the unsaved, yes, you do. I'm sorry, I was a little bit distracted. I'm trying to see if this is still on. Praise God. But okay, I'm looking on here. Romans, Romans 12:10. Love one another with a brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. This is to Christians. A lot of people, they will not, they say we're not to judge. We are to judge with righteous judgment. That's what the Lord told us. When he says, judge not that thou be judged by what you judge. He was talking about we don't judge with our judgment. With our minds. We do it with the word of Almighty God. Because that is not us judging. That is God judging. No matter what we do. God's word stands true. Amen? Amen? Let, let every man be a liar and God be true. Well, God be true and every man be a liar. Yes. You know, there's nothing new under the sun. God is always right. But always. And I want to tell you that. Likewise, reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. But a life unto God through Christ Jesus our Lord. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body. That ye should obey it. Obey it in the lust thereof. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin. But yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the dead. And your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. For sin shall not have dominion over you. For ye are not under the law, but under grace. Alright, what does that mean? And I know this, okay, let me put it in easy language. Your members, your hands, your feet, your, your body, your, yourself. You do, do not use your body, your members, which are your arms, your legs. That's why we're all members of the body. Say, <coughs> like Jesus Christ, Jesus says that we are the body. He is the head, absolutely. But say, we can't work without each other. Say, here's Joe, he's the little finger. And the wrist, that's Gary. And the arm, you know, that's Jose. And Toby, the other arm. Without one part, it doesn't matter how small, none of us can function. You know, we all have to work together. So it says, don't let your members be used for sin. Be used for any sin. Because it says we're dead. We've died to sin once you're born again. And make sure, I want to make sure, first and foremost, this is the most important thing you could ever learn. You have to be born again. If there is a doubt in your mind, brothers and sisters, whoever may be watching, you make it right now. You make it right. Right now. It is up to you. See, God gives us something called free will. It would not be love if he forced us to worship him. He wants us to love and adore him by choice. We choose him over everything. That's love. So, how are you saved? There's not a certain prayer. A lot of people will tell you, as I've told you before, that there's a certain prayer. Oh, you have to pray this prayer. You have to pray that prayer. No, 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 no. Man looks at the outward appearance. God looks on your heart. If your heart is crying, you know that you have done wrong. You know that you have sinned. I know I have sinned. You know that you have sinned and you have gone against God and you have broken God's heart. You have to know it and you have to truly be remorseful. A lot of people, oh, I'm sorry, God, hallelujah. I'm saying, no, 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 no. You have to truly be repentful. Your heart. You must agonize. You must be sorry for what you have done. And that's when you come to the Lord and He gives you a brand new. So let's just make sure right now, all right? You and I. And besides that, if we sin, we have an advocate with the Father. Jesus is our high priest. He will intercede for us. So we've all sinned, whether it be a thought or anything. Let's just go before God. Bow your head, please, brothers. Father, in the name of Jesus. We come before you now. What do we want to say? We want to say we're sorry. 
we hurt. We are sorry we hurt our daddy. We are sorry we broke your heart and caused tears in your eyes. And if we're not sure that we have salvation and that we belong to you, our heart will tell us. The Spirit will bear witness that we are yours. Right now we want to make it sure in our hearts. We want to settle it in our hearts that we are yours. We want the Holy Spirit to come into us. We ask forgiveness. We give our entire being, our members, our life, our thoughts, our future, our past, our present to you. And in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. Make us born again. Hallelujah. Amen. There you go. All right, brothers and sisters. I love you. Okay, now, remember Gary and uh, Edward. Send me something real quick on uh, Facebook. Send me something real quick and tell me where we left off because I want to get in here while I have the internet. I know I've let you down. Forgive me. I am going to get back on. God's work is the most important. Things have been crazy. Pray for my family. Pray. My son works at a 7-Eleven store. Bless his heart. He is doing everything he can. He's heavy set. He doesn't have good health. He has breathing issues. His name is Joshua. And I ask for you to pray for him. I also ask for you to pray for the salvation of Treasure Dawn, which is my daughter. I ask you to pray for Angelica. She is my oldest. She has three babies. They're all sick. Their refrigerator went out. They don't have any way to get a refrigerator. I have been praying for the money to get them one. Their house is hot. They have to have a refrigerator. They need one extremely bad, especially with a newborn baby and two babies. So please keep them in their prayers, and I am keeping you in my prayers, whoever you are watching. Look us up. If you're in grief over a, a, a passing loved one, or you know someone, or you yourself, I have uh, taken care of, I believe it is now, how many is it, six family members they passed on. I have a brother that has congestive heart failure that's passing on. His girlfriend has cerebral palsy and other issues. Um, it's been hard, but God has carried me through. Hallelujah. And I want to be there for you. Okay, I want to be there. I, I may not be much. I am an ordained minister. I am an evangelist. I am not a big preacher. I just want to love people. But I will correct. I am not above correcting. If I see someone leading the body of Christ astray, I will stand up for the Word of God. We have support groups. Please look us up on Facebook. Feed My Sheep Street Outreach Ministry. Uh, look me up, Kim Humphreys, Evangelist Kimmy. We have all kind of pages from that point when you contact me or uh, Gary Michael Varney, Joe Lynch. We will all direct you and give you links to all of our sites and everything. If you want to be put in a chat room for a special thing, let us know for grieving. We have 36 chat rooms, 36 groups. We have now, no, it isn't, it's seven community pages. Uh, we just want to touch the world with the gospel. If you hurt me, we want to help you. We want to do our very best. So God bless you. We're going to keep you. Let's have a worship song. Do you mind? We need to worship. I wasn't on here Sunday. Hallelujah. I've got to find one right quick. Hmm. All I can find is one in the spirit. I ought to have Gary on here helping me. Sure should, because I can't find anything. Uh, let's just go back to praise God, one of the Spirit, one of the Lord. We love each other, so let's take it out with this song, Precious Ones.
so I can get it done before I pick up my son tonight. Praise God. Glory, hallelujah. Praise God. We love you, Father. I love you for bringing this to every one of them here. I'm not through. I'm going to do your work. I'm going to teach them, but they need to tell me. Jerry, you need to learn that song. You have to sing song for a minute. Praise God.